Good morning, guys. What is going on? Lawson here. Got good friend, old buddy, pal Tim here with me this morning. We are doing the peacock, largemouth, mine cichlids, maybe snakeheads, clown knife fish. We're in freshwater. We're fishing for whatever bites. So main target is definitely going to be peacock bass and probably some largemouth as well, but mainly peacock bass. We're using a bunch of different lures. Going to be reaching into the MTB box and grabbing some different stuff out. This is I have a freshwater and saltwater box I get every month, super cool. You guys know what MTB is, you already know. But we are throwing topwaters at first. Well, Tim's throwing topwater. I'm switching over to a swim bait right now, and we're gonna see if we can get on some peacocks. Ooh, ooh, I got some whale, dude. I got hammered. Cast. Ooh, on. Nice, Tim. There you go. Oh, head shake. I think it's a jack. <laughs> you got a jack on, huh? See it? See his head shake? That's a peacock, too. Nice, man. Is this a good fish? Uh, I don't think I'm going to drag this. That is a good one. Oh, God. That's a big one, Tim. Wow. Back here is rolling. Let's see if I can go for a landing. Oh, he's, he's, he's wrapped weird. That's a nice fish. That is a nice wow. peacock bass, that's, Tim. Hell yeah, that's dude. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught. Head first like a maniac, too. Don't oh. <laughs> All right, well, Sorry. there goes Tim's peacock bass right there. We, we snapped a few photos of it, but we didn't get to uh, really was, talk about he it. He was bleeding pretty bad, too, though. He needed to go back in. Yeah, he was bleeding a little bit, so we wanted to get him back in the water as quick as possible. That was awesome fish, Tim. Yeah. Great way, nice to, great way, great way to start the morning. Great way. <laughs> Ooh, come on, big swirl, big swirl, big swirl. Oh, Ooh, yes! You want? Yeah. Ate it boat side. Not nearly as big as yours, but it's not a bad one. <laughs> that was sweet, I saw him falling it up. Oh my gosh, worst boat flip of all time. First peacock for me right there, not a bad one, probably just a little one and a pound and a half, just a real chubby one. He is beautiful. Tim's one he caught was probably close to five pounds, but this is a great fish too. I'm happy to be catching these things right now. We, we had a dilemma with some dogs earlier, but we're all good now. Gosh. Those things are so aggressive or like so lively. They don't take very long to release at all. And their mouths, like they almost have teeth, but it's more like sandpaper, like snook and tarpon, but it's just like way rougher. Oh, on. on. Are you? It feels good. Unless I'm like foul hook, but it feels good. Nice one, nice one. Can I get the yeah. Just don't go too far my pool. This is a good one. Ooh, this one is freaking beautiful. Holy crap. Stays pinned. This is a beautiful fish. Man, he swallowed that one too. No little eats there. Only eating it like the whole entire bait today. Third fish of the morning. My second peacock bass. It is a nice one, man. Probably got maybe a pound on the first one I caught and maybe two pounds lighter than the one Tim caught, but that is a beautiful fish. Their colors are just unreal. That is like pretty atypical releases on my channel. I don't even know if the camera was on yet when it fell out of your hand. It's, what's kind of great is what we're running right now is Tim's throwing a top water and I'm throwing a jerk bait. And so it's very clear, like whenever Tim is getting followed or a bite, like it's obvious. And so having someone who has a subsurface lure follow up with the top water can be like super deadly. Ooh, see that huge swirl on me? Ooh, there he is, nice one. Oh God. <laughs> it feels bigger than the last one. It might be about the same size. Oh no, I can't tell yet. Ooh, got that fluorocarbon squeaking a little bit. This one looks a little bigger. 
if dig and that's what i was talking about though tim tim kind of churned them up and got them excited with the top water and me throwing the jerk bait up in there just a lot easier for them to hit this is a nice one getting bigger each cast he might come off here maybe ah uh, he looks probably pretty good Ooh, that is a big one yeah looks way bigger out of the water than it did in the water yeah he's long all right, they keep getting bigger, and that's exactly what you want when you're fishing. You want your fish to get bigger as the day goes out. At least they're getting bigger for me. Tim started off with a toad, and I'm kind of slowly sizing up. This one probably has a half a pound on the last one I just caught, and that was literally, what, less than a minute ago I caught yeah. that last one. I mean, just probably the most beautiful fish. In... I think you have a better strategy, though. You wait for me to stir them up, and then you steal my fish. Yeah, it seems that's, to be working that's out better working for you. real well. Um, just beautiful, beautiful fish, man. We're going to snap a few photos. They're such freaking awesome fish. Oh God, I was getting followed up by a peacock bass right then I pulled it out of the water. Uh, oh God, dude. Oh, I threw it up in this. Oh, there's one. Back to back, different fish. This one doesn't feel nearly as big. Maybe not, he's waking up now. Damn, son. Good God, what the hell? I thought like, he's not very big and he just like woke up on me, man. Stay woke, Lawson. Stay, Stay woke, woke, son. Oh, my. look at this. Did we get the camera? Yeah. Dude, what the heck? Is this thing foul hooked or I have like a snook on here or something? Ain't no snook. That was a joke, but damn, dude. This is fighting so hard. I don't know if I have like a huge fish oh, on. Oh, he died. is huge. This fish is huge, Tim. This is bigger than the one you had on. It's not bigger than mine. All right, maybe it is. Look at the wake that thing's putting off. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go for a landing, please. Good God. Oh, that's huge. This one's big as hell. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me right Dude, now? that's huge. There's a tank. <laughs> that's gotta be a six pound peacock bass. Leroy sized fish. I, 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 I hate guessing weights on fish. You guys can tell me what you think this fish weighs because he's pretty freaking big. Biggest fish of the day right there, I'd say. Only a little bit maybe bigger than the one Tim caught. This is a awesome sized peacock bass right here. I mean, what a beautiful fish. And that thing was fighting so hard. I mean, that is amazing. Just so amazing. All right, go for the lease on this big boy right here. They are just mean old sons of bitches. I probably <laughs> Sons of guns, I mean. <laughs> Look at the back on that fish. That's what I'm talking about. We are having a big fish day. Not a ton of fish, but big fish. No, we're still catching like, that's like our fifth bass, right? Yeah. P? Yeah, we're doing good. We just need to split the ratio up a little bit. I've only got one. Yeah, you started off with a banger and now I'm like just hitting them. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a second real quick, talk about what we've been throwing today. So what I just caught that big peacock bass on, which is my PB now. I don't, I would guess that fish is probably close to five and a half pounds. You guys can tell me what you think he was. He was very thick and he PB came- peacock bass? PB peacock. He came on that Shiner glide bait right there. Really awesome glide bait. And I've caught a lot of big peacock bass on this before, but that was the biggest one I've ever caught. And then We've I was killing it on this. Yeah, I was throwing this jerk bait earlier. That this jerk bait came in the mystery tackle box. I think last month's mystery tackle box. I've never used it before, and it is absolutely killing it. It's a catch code jerk bait, I believe, and it is destroying fish. I caught four peacock bass on it. Tim's caught a large mouth and two peacocks on it now. Yeah, and, uh, and then I just broke it as well. And the bill got broken off on it by by somebody here. Probably but, you. But this, <laughs> but, but this jerk bait has been absolutely destroying the fish for us and those have been our two main baits and then tim caught his first fish in the morning that really nice one he caught that was probably close to five pounds on just a little mirror dean top dog right there that is your bait check use mtb box caught a few fish with the jerk bait that was the money bait that came out today and then hooked big on the glide and another big one on the top dog on seems like a good fish dude
a nice one. Decent. Little one. About half the size of the other ones we've been catching today. <laughs> that is actually our, probably our small peacock. His rod's so flexible. It's like the extra fast, medium light rod. Oh, God. Yeah, I got a fish. <laughs> I was like screwing around to swing my rod back and forth, dragging a, a lipless crankbait behind the boat, and I just got a large enough. What do you know about that? All right, little largemouth right there. Adding some, good God, adding some diversity to uh, my species today. All right, that'll be the last cast of the day right there. That'll do her. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Done for the day back at the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Today was awesome, honestly. It turned out a little better than I expected. Me and Tim both caught our new PD Peacock Bassers. You guys should tell me what you thought those weighed. I, my guess would be probably four and a half, close to five pounds. They were really nice peacock bass for sure. And it was really cool, you know, I was throwing. All morning, I was throwing. I kept a ton of fish on a jerk bait. I got out of the mystery tackle box, fresh water. And that was actually, a box, I think, it, or a lure I got out of last month's box, and then I used that lipless crankbait that I caught a few, or I caught a large mouth on, and that was out of this month's box. And it's just cool because you get different lures that you're really not used to using, like that jerkbait I've never seen before. It, it was actually a Catchco original jerkbait, and if I didn't have that with me, I don't think we would have caught nearly as many fish as we did because only two of the peacock bass, I believe, were not caught on the jerkbait. So that was pretty awesome. Big thanks to them. And if you want a MTB box, I'll leave a discount code below and you can pick one up. Simple as that. But today was a fun day. Got to catch PB, got to catch some peacock bass. They are becoming one of my favorite fish to catch. They're like a snook and a jack mixed together where they hit really aggressively and pop like a snook and have a mouth like a snook, but then they shake their heads and jump. They're just a really world class great game fish. And today was an awesome day. But Today's not over for me. I'm going to edit this video, try to get it up, and then I'm actually going out in a couple hours to go fishing in the salt water for some snook and tarpon. So maybe look forward to that too. But I don't know. I'm done for the day. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'm done for the day. You guys are awesome. Thanks.